Peak Zoom Lock. The 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information. Hey guys, what's going on? I thought I'd shoot a quick video here. Uh, I haven't uploaded, I've been uploading videos more frequently and that's the goal with the, you know, with my Israel HVAC channel. But I have it the past few days because it's, it's starting to rain again here for like the eighth day in a row. It's been doing nothing but raining here. Um, so that's why I hadn't been uploading. It's been like, it's been about a week since I put a video out, I think. But don't worry, they're coming. Doing a, doing a job tomorrow, doing a change out. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow. So we're gonna do a 16 sear, straight cool ICP system uh, with gas furnace and you know evaporator coal, of course. Uh, he's very short on return. It's a five ton. He's not anywhere close to having enough return for a five ton. So we're gonna enlarge the return air. And another way that I'm going to be able to get him more airflow is instead of doing filter grills down in the bottom of the house, I'm going to do stamp face grills because they have a bigger opening. And I'm going to put a five inch media filter in the attic. Uh, and that way he'll get more airflow and he'll get, he'll get an IAQ product. We've been talking about IAQ on the Cowboys of HVAC podcast. So I'm finally going to use an IAQ product. I'm going to use a five inch media filter from Honeywell. And, uh, so that'll be very nice. Um, and uh, another thing I wanted to clear up was I got a couple comments on the YouTube channel. Like, you know, every anytime I do a solo podcast on the Israel HVAC podcast, it automatically, my software automatically uploads it to iTunes and in Google Play Store. And it also uploads it to my YouTube channel. A lot of guys are saying, why is there no video on, the, every, on, the, on your podcast uploads? Well, guys, I don't know if you just don't know, but a podcast is not a video. A podcast is a audio, is an audio session. It's an audio talk show. That's what a podcast is. So basically you can listen to the Israel HVAC podcast three ways. You can listen to it on iTunes, which if you're an Apple user, you have an iPhone, iPad, Mac, whatever, you'll have an app that came with that device that says podcast. It's a little purple thing. If you're an Android user, you have to go to Google Play Store and download. There's two apps. I, I can't remember what one of them's called, but I know the most popular one is called Podcast Addict. Uh, and you, I, I can be found on there. And you can also listen to it on my YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel right here. Same thing goes for the Cowboys of HVAC. You can listen to it on iTunes, same way with the little icon that came with your Apple device. You can listen to it on Google Play, which is, uh, again, you'd have to download the Podcast Addict app. It can be listened to on the Cowboys of HVAC YouTube channel. And it can also be listened to on workingjoesroundtable.com. And actually, I forgot to mention that my Israel HVAC podcast can also be listened to on workingjoesroundtable.com. The reason that we like to upload the podcast to the YouTube channels is because when you listen to it on Working Joe's Roundtable or on iTunes or Google Play, which is Podcast Addict, you can't leave a comment. Well, on the YouTube channel, you guys can leave comments about what you thought about the podcast. Uh, but you can't do that on these other platforms. So, that's the answer to that question. As far as the Israel HVAC podcast goes, I'm going to be taking it in a new direction. Uh, Ralph and Zach have teamed up on the Working Joe's podcast. Uh, Zach brought Ralph in. They've teamed up together, which is awesome. And uh, they're kind of kind of going with the same concept as the Cowboy Podcast, you know, um, interviewing like YouTubers and stuff like that. Where on the Cowboys, we try to concentrate on tool manufacturers and stuff like that. The direction that I want to take the Israel HVAC podcast into is, and my wife is going to co-host it with me. It's going to be a husband and wife co-host podcast. 
I'm going to take the Israel HVAC podcast into the direction of I want to help guys that are in trade school or just got out of trade school. And when I say just got out of trade school, I don't mean, you know, five plus years. I'm talking guys that are actually in trade school or just got out, you know, a few months, a year or two. That's really what I'm looking for. Because I've never been to trade school for HVAC. All of you know that I learned from my father. I started when I was uh, 13 years old. Um, and plus our trade school here is ridiculous. It sucks. So I want to see how the other trade schools across the United States work and what these guys have learned or what the guys are learning if they're still in trade school. The ones that are out, what they did learn, what they went over, stuff like that. And I want to help these guys and I want them to ask me questions if they want to ask me questions and hopefully I can answer them. So that's the direction that I want to take the Israel HVAC podcast into is kind of, I mean, we, we, don't, don't get me wrong, we'll interview some YouTubers also. You know, I do want to interview some YouTubers. I want to bring Steve, uh, Steve, Steve Lav onto my podcast. And uh, I want to bring a few other people, some other YouTubers on my podcast. But for the most part, I, I want to talk to these guys that are in trade school or fresh out of trade school. So that's what we're going to do with the Israel HVAC podcast. But uh, anyway, guys, just a little update here on, on that. And uh, but any, uh, you know, like I said, I just want to give a quick update. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for the support on the YouTube channel, uh, the Cowboys of HVAC, the Working Joes podcast, the Cowboys of HVAC podcast, the Israel HVAC podcast. Thank you all for the support on everything. I appreciate it. I know Zach appreciates it. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one.